Hi there, my name is Katie Saints and I'm with Fox Valley Autism. Um, today with this video I'd like to address some myths about ABA. So common complaints that I hear or concerns that I hear from people about ABA is that it turns kids into robots, it doesn't address mental health issues, it can't help all behaviors, um, and there's just different complaints talking about the limitations of ABA. And so I want to just go over what some of the stats are on ABA and what the research has proven that ABA is really effective at and really good at. Um, so I'm going to start um, with this first graphic. Um, this uh, image here that I'm holding up is the number of articles in different categories that ABA has been published in proving that it's effective with this population. So for example, there's 1,141 articles right now showing that ABA is effective in public environmental occupational health. Um, economics has over a thousand, uh, clinical psychology, psychiatry, management. Um, one category is general multidisciplinary. If you break down these articles, you'll see that ABA is effective with every diagnosis that it's been tested on so far, and that's a really broad range. So we're talking about anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, borderline personality disorder. So it's showing to be effective with every diagnosis. So it's also effective in the business world, uh, developmental psychology, hugely successful environmental studies, transportation, uh, rehabilitation, education, uh, special education, social sciences, um, experimental psychology, healthcare, science, um, environmental science, neuroscience, and computer science are some of the um, categories listed here. So as you can see from this um, this sample, ABA covers so much more than just autism. So that's that's a really common myth that all ABA can help with is autism, and it, it's really not true. We've proven to be effective in so many categories in a pretty wide range, not just um, the helping field like psychology and things like that. We're really effective in business. We're really effective in science. We're effective in um, government, for example. Um, this next graph that I have is um, the types of journals that um, the articles are, are published in. So we have psychology, business, economics, public, environmental, occupational health. Um, we have psychiatry, education, environmental science, um, engineering, social sciences, computer science, transportation, neurology, rehabilitation, math, government law, um, general internal medicine, nursing, substance abuse, sociology, management, healthcare, science technologies, and information science. So as you can see, these are pretty broad topics. Um, then if you look at, one of the complaints that I hear is ABA is a cookie cutter approach. And actually that's, that's so completely untrue from the perspective that if you're doing ABA correct, you're supposed to be completely tailing, tailoring it to each individual. So the nef next graphic I have is the number of studies done in different countries. And so I'm using this to illustrate that there aren't cultural barriers to ABA. So the therapists are supposed to um, be culturally sensitive and tailor the programs to each individual family and their culture. So as you can see here, 
there are so many countries in which um, there are published articles um, of ABA being effective. So I'll just read through what some of those countries are. United States, England, Germany, Netherlands, Canada, Australia, Spain, China, Italy, Taiwan, France, Sweden, Switzerland, Belgium, Norway, North Korea, Scotland, Brazil, Japan, Denmark, Turkey, Finland, Mexico, Israel, and Australia. So, I'm sorry, Austria. So, as you can see, it's a pretty broad range of countries um, that are practicing ABA, and that's growing all the time. This next graph that I have is um, showing how quickly ABA's research is growing. So, the research is really important to look at because we're scientifically analyzing if we can make significant change. And so the research is so overwhelming that we can make massive change in people's lives, no matter their diagnosis, no matter where they're from, we can make that change. And so a common complaint about behavior analysts is they come on so strong. And part of the reason they come on so strong is because they see how well their science works. And so we know and we've been proven through all of this research that we can make really significant change if we follow the principles that we've learned in all this research. So this chart here starts in 1956. No. Um, this chart is chopped off. It starts in 1995, um, and then it goes to till 2018. So the research actually dates back to the 50s, where we're showing behavior and analytical principles being really effective. You know, we've we've shown it with animals, we've shown it with people, we've shown it with babies, we've shown it with adults and elderly people, we've showed it with Alzheimer's, we've, we've showed it with so many medical diagnoses as well as mental health diagnoses. You know, the research is overwhelming how effective ABA is. And one thing that people don't realize about ABA is it's always happening. So, for example, part of what ABA does is analyzes all of the principle or all of the patterns of reinforcement and punishment around you. And so all of your behavior is shaped by whether or not those behaviors get reinforced or not. So when we start paying attention to those patterns, we can manipulate those patterns and we can change them and we can start to get those behaviors that we want to see more of. And so our science has broken down how to analyze that, how to tell what's reinforcing a behavior so that we can change it. So our science is really meaningful. It's shown really significant change. And so um, part of what I want to do is really get the word out that the science is there. We've proven it to be so effective. And when we follow our principles well, we get really meaningful results. All right, thanks for listening.